hello viewers welcome you all back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss dynamic charts in excel and before jumping into content i would like to thank all the viewers and subscribers for helping us to reach 200 subscribers milestone that's a big achievement for us now let's jump into the content recently i came across this requirement from one of my friend that he need to build a dynamic chart and his chart is expected to grow either in column side or in the row side uh, if a data gets added in the column automatically it's it's expected to pick the data or even if a data gets added in the row automatically it's expected to pick the data but it was not happening since the chart is not dynamic now he wanted to convert this chart to completely dynamic and they went for a solution like macro I asked them not to go for macro when we have an excellent solution, inbuilt solution in Excel. That is nothing other than Excel tables. Now let's see how to convert this into an excellent solution. Now I have created a new worksheet. I'm just going to uh, create some. Okay, let's copy that data. Let me copy this data. And let me paste this data in this new sheet. Right now, just add a name here, here, and let's convert this complete range into a table using shortcut Control T. Right now, this is converted into a table. Let me go here and rename this table. Rename this table as data table right now we got the base data ready now we just need to repoint the graph let me copy this graph and let me paste it here now i'm going to repoint this graph graph by reselecting the data so right click on the graph and go for select data option now here you can see that the graph is still pointing to sheet 1 data now I'm going to get rid of this and move my reference to sheet 4 and select this table select this entire table and there you will be able to see that automatically Excel identified this as data table right now one thing we, okay we need to do do few corrections on top of this that is nothing but the year also got mapped as a data now we need to get rid of that just select that year and click on remove so now year got removed and <coughs> we have to edit the x-axis as well now edit go to edit and select the range of this axis 2021 20, right so automatically 2019 2020 all the years got plotted at the bottom now let's try testing the solution let me add a new column four and let me add try adding data to this okay so I have added 10 value 10 for 2019 and it got reflected automatically now let me add something for this perfect this and then this so it is working on the column wise now let's try adding a new data on row wise as well perfect I got a new um, value in the x-axis now let's try adding values here perfect so that makes my chart completely dynamic now let's test deleting this in order to delete this in order to delete a value in a table you are just not um, you just need to right click on the row or column and delete table column or table row so delete table row perfect and let me delete this column and delete table column perfect so that's it 
that makes our graph completely dynamic you don't need to go for any macro or anything so i hope you would have uh, find this video useful please like share and subscribe our channel for more useful videos in future thank you so much thanks for your support